Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about food packaging and its systems. So which basically comes under food biotechnology. So we'll talk about some of the systems that are involved in food. So more this. So one of the most important techniques that we are going to talk about is a map and CAS. So we'll define all of the uh, stuff with the waters included with map and CAS. So moving with that. So why food packaging is done? So it's a method of reduction in the concentration of oxygen and to increase in carbon dioxide concentration of the storage atmosphere surrounding of the food that reduces the rate of respiration of the microbes. So I'll explain you what it is all about. So basically food packagings are done so as to avoid the presence of oxygen. So the presence of oxygen thrives the growth of microbes so due to the presence of uh, uh, oxygen pardon so due to the presence of oxygen the microbes uh, are grown generally or the microbe growth is preferred so definitely food packaging is done in a mat, uh, way in which oxygen uh, supply is limited or is stopped to an extent so that there is no growth of microorganisms and supply of carbon dioxide is kept so as to stop the growth of microorganism in any way so that's what it's written a reduction in the concentration of oxygen and an increase in the carbon dioxide concentration of the storage atmosphere surrounding and a food reduces the rate of respiration of fruits and vegetables and also inhibits the microbial and insect growth so this is the major point that we will be revolving around so this, uh, this is why food packagings are done in a way so there are various types of food packagings that takes place depending on the food item so this is the major uh, major reason uh, why it is carried out also when it is combined with chilling modified or controlled atmosphere are an increasingly important methods of maintaining high quality in processed food during an extended shelf life so these are some of the methods of uh, preservations uh, food preservation which can be chilling or modified or controlled atmosphere which also helps in extension of shelf life so the food can be kept in a fridge or somewhere out for a longer period without getting spoiled so the cell the shelf life of the food increases uh, when we combine the packaging system with the food preservation so when we pack, uh, pack the food properly and keep it in a good condition or, a, or we keep it in a fridge or somewhere the temperature is low which renders uh, the uh, sustainability of food for a longer period of time without a growth of microorganisms. So chilling is mainly done when we keep the food in the fridge. So the temperature is kept uh, in a good, is nicely maintained. So these are some of the methods for extension of self life. So with this. So as we just talked about, about map and CAS in the beginning, we just, I just showed you a slide of map and CAS. So just about, it's a full form says it's, it's the modified atmosphere storage and packaging are the use of gases to replace air around non-respiring foods without further controls after storage or packaging. So also in controlled atmosphere storage and packaging, the composition of gas around respiring food is monitored and constantly controlled. So basically when we store the food, so different types of gases, so we'll talk about different types of gases that are used in foods so as to prevent the growth of microorganisms and that is made that replaces air in most of the cases so moving on with we'll talk about some of it in detail as we move on so in commercial operation controlled atmosphere storage or cas and modified atmosphere storage or mass are mostly used in apples and smaller quantities of peas and cabbage also modified atmosphere packaging is used for fresh foods and an increasingly number, increasing number of mild processed food and is gaining in popularity as new applications are developed. Also applications or examples of MAP products include raw or cooked meat, poultry, fish, seafoods, vegetables, pasta, cheese, bakery, sandwiches, uh, chips, coffee, tea, and with new products including prepared salads, part break, uh, part baked breads, croissants, pizzas, pizzas, pardon, and peeled fruits, prepare vegetables and dressing. These are all of the things uh, that are done. These are some of the products 
that are uh, preserved using map packaging so we we'll put some more of them so what it is all about so we'll talk about next up that we have here is uh, you can see on the screen which is the controlled uh, control atmosphere and modified atmosphere and caa so caa will talk about control atmosphere first which is generally refers to the decreased oxygen and increased carbon dioxide concentration by a precise control of gas composition and a modified atmosphere we is uh, used when the control of the storage atmosphere is not closely controlled such as in plastic film packaging so these are the two major uh, packaging systems that are used so this is a basic control system which is the reducing the use of oxygen in the food item and increasing the carbon dioxide content and this is a modified uh, atmosphere in which uh, control of the uh, storage atmosphere the composition of different sorts of gases are shown here and are closely monitored so as to check the growth of all the microorganisms that may be present there We're moving on with this so we'll talk about some of the differences between the two so there must be two uh, differences between the two so as to people may prefer according to the advantages so map so ma so talking about modified atmosphere so it's the gas composition is modified initially and it changes dynamically depending on the respiration rate of produce and permeability of film uh, or storage structure surrounding the process so the gas composition is modified and also it changes according to the respiration also respiration of the microorganisms present in it so according as the microorganism respire the composition of gases changes so accordingly it is monitored and talking about controlled atmosphere so the gas atmosphere is continuously controlled throughout the storage period so this is the difference so in modified atmosphere uh, the modi uh, so they are modified initially and it changes dynamically so the change occurs dynamically with time it occurs whereas in controlled atmosphere the change is from time t0 so it changes from very much from initially initial point so it changes as we observe the growth of microorganisms in different situations so these are the two different situations so talking about next are the scrubbers so scrubbers are used in controlled atmosphere storage to absorb the extra amount of gas present inside the packaged material so scrubbers are definitely used in industries for absorption of different sort of gases that may be present in the packaged material so which may harm the food in any way so they are absorbed or gathered around so scrubbers are used in the packaging system for controlled atmosphere storage moving on with this so we're talking about some of the composition which may be present in the packaging which is the air which has a percentage of about 21% and oxygen and 0.3% of carbon dioxide so this are this is the basic composition of uh, packaging material and the modification of atmosphere is uh, definitely oxygen is in a lower quantity with that of carbon dioxide also which renders increased shelf life of perishable foods so perishable foods means which are which very much get destroyed due to presence of food and due to presence of air and different sort of reactions that occur on the food due to respiration of microorganisms on them so definitely increases the shelf life of those types of food especially when they are packaged this way so moving this so talking about these shelf life and the respiration rate so as you can see uh, mushroom has the highest respiration rate so the this shows that microorganisms are very much uh, uh, pliable or very much attracted towards mushroom and very much can contaminate mushroom and spoil that uh, food product very quickly so they are very much attracted towards mushroom so that so the respiration rate becomes very high so due to the very high respiration rate these are one of the most perishable foods that are available in the market whereas we have uh, soft soft fruits asparagus broccoli which have a comparative lower respiration rate which have a general good shelf life so without the preservation methods also they have a good shelf life also we have uh, uh, potatoes which have a highest shelf life so which can so be so these are some of the food products which have a very less respiration rate and these are some of the organic these are some of the food products which are least 
uh, attractable to the microorganisms and therefore uh, they have a very less low respiration rate and a high shelf life so due to low respiration rate they are less bound to microorganisms and thus they have a higher shelf life so this was the graph that uh, this is a very important graph i want to just uh, you can just pause the screen uh, pause the video and uh, take a note of it different sort of food products so let's just keep this video till here i'll be back with another video very soon so hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy this video please give this video a big thumbs up i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching